right, we are back with Zoo Tycoon. This is our Surf and Turf Zoo. Uh, surf, of course, referring to marine exhibits, and uh, turf referring to standard terrestrial zoo animals. <clears throat> um, but also, uh, yeah, scenario information. Uh, yep, recent advancements in cloning and genetics have made it possible to bring back many... Ooh, blue ribbon, $5,000, very nice. Extinct dinosaurs and prehistoric animals. And if you include these in the zoo, you will be offered a big bonus. So, um, according to this little calculation uh, scenario thing, uh, we've already got two zoo animals. Uh, and we have one exhibit with three baboons, so I'm guessing that it means two individual animals uh, rather than two species, uh, which means that this um, this scenario could be very, very short. Of course, we also need a zoo rating of 85, and we only have a zoo rating of 80, so perhaps uh, that will need to be improved, but... Anyway, but right now, I think it's time to add our dinosaur or prehistoric animal. And, you know, we got a lot of options. Iguanodon, Styracosaurus, you know, we have those in Zoo Tycoon 2. Love the Styracosaurus in Zoo Tycoon 2. But, I'm kind of thinking, none of these. Yep. And I will get to why in just a second. But first, I need to decide where it's going to be. So, so I'm looking at this, and I don't care if the game will let me do it. It looks dangerous. I mean, this. You know, like, you're just walking in the desert. That, that can't be possible. Like, that's not safe. Um, and I mean, this is even, you know, even worse. I mean, you've got cliffs on either side to help protect, I guess. But originally, I had kind of planned to put our dinosaur over here. But, I mean, that would require going all the way over here, and I, I just don't know. Also, I mean, if, if we're not going to develop the zoo as much as I thought we were, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a thing. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put the dinosaur exhibit right here. And I'm going to build it using... Let's see. 200. I mean, I'd like to continue using the concrete flexiglass fence. But I understand this fence was made for dinosaurs. Iron bar fence. Uh, guests can see into an exhibit. Guests cannot see an exhibit with the reinforced concrete. But we have the reinforced concrete and glass. We also have these electrified chain link and electrified iron bar. The electrified iron bar, however, is very expensive. The electrified chain link is also pretty expensive. So, well, I mean, this is only $25 more expensive. This is cheaper, and it is what I would like to use. But I am wondering about safety. Also, this hill. I'll probably have to get rid of this hill. Um, I mean, so this is what it comes down to, you know. Safety or appearance. Safety or appearance. You know, they always told me that I was going to have to make this decision eventually. I just didn't think it would be so soon. 150? See, this is only 150. That's so inexpensive. Hmm. Alright, alright, alright. I'll go for the proper dinosaur fence. Yes, that's what I'll do. We, we do have tons of money. Money is not an issue. Yeah. 
Yep. Give it a nice big area. And I think we will extend it some over here. Wow, that, that looks great. Um, I can't even really tell if I'm doing that properly. Yeah, see, I was not. Well, let's get rid of this. Um, and then... I think... Oh, but see, then this is more expensive. Oh, no, they're the same, actually. So, yeah, so then I think I'll, I'll start moving this over. Oh, wow, this is going to get real expensive real quick. Yeah. All right, let's undo that. Then let's just come across here. That's fine. And then let's just join it up there. All right, <clears throat> and this exhibit... Instead of naming it Dinosaur Exhibit, we are going to name it Cretaceous Corral. And why, you ask? Why the somewhat creative name instead of... Uh, oh, look, it's yellow because it's on, on a curve. That's so interesting. I, I don't know if I've ever seen that before. But why, instead of when I've just been naming the other exhibits... Uh, baboon exhibit, an octopus tank, why Cretaceous Corral? Well, it is in fact one of those oft-whispered Easter eggs. See, because now, where it wasn't before, the Triceratops is now available for adoption or creation, I guess, because it comes as an egg. So, so that is what we are going to do. We are going to have this Triceratops, which I think is going to be very nice. Savannah likes the grass tree North America in the Cretaceous period. Hmm. Yeah, despite their fierce appearance, they are herbivores. I know that, but, I mean, they're still large, formidable herbivores, and I wouldn't really want one uh, running around my zoo. <laughs> the main threat to this species is destruction of its habitat. Well, I guess that's true. Its habitat is, uh, has been, um, destroyed. So, there's our Triceratops. And I think we'll probably need more than one. But where is my zookeeper? $800 salary. It would be nice... <laughs> If I could assign my zookeeper, but we are going to need a scientist. They have a $1,000 a month salary, which is going to be expensive, and we've already spent, I mean, $20,000 just on the fencing and the dinosaur, and we are going to have to buy at least one other. So I will go ahead and get that now. Whoa! Dinosaurs! Nothing drives guests crazy like dinosaurs. For your creativity, you are rewarded with $10,000. Well, that's, that's nice. I mean, you know, we could say a big bonus. $10,000 is certainly a big bonus. But, uh, you know, I was hoping for, like, an unlockable object. But, 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 but that's cool. Um, alright, so do I want to just go ahead and flatten this now? I kind of think I do. Um, let's at least start with this. Because even if they don't mind these hills, I, I want this to be the highest point, so. So yeah, and then I, I want this to go down. Although, maybe actually, no, let's, let's undo everything. Let's redo this. and then commit, and then I'm just going to drag this down like that, yeah, so that way, I mean, because you, I don't need to move all of this, that would be much more expensive, see, this is only $32, and I think I will probably do the same here, ooh, you know, what we could have done is we could actually have had a moat, that would be cool, 
but I think what I'm going to do is just, um, flatten all of this, yeah, just... Olive Baboon 2 has given birth! Alright! So we should have a baby right there. Yeah, Olive Baboon 4. I mean, it's a little pixelated. Oh, yep, yeah, it's very pixelated. I mean, it's kind of cute in its own way. I mean, personally, I don't really think adult baboons are very cute. But, you know, I mean, if you're the sort of person that thinks adult... Ooh, Triceratops 1 has hatched. Alright, so let us see what is up with Triceratops 1. Triceratops 1 does not like the sand bush. Well, that is easy to fix. Yep, there you go. Little sand bush. Gone. And let's see what we can replace the sand bush with. Uh, let's go to all. Yep. Is it the grass tree? Yeah, there we go. Grass tree, just like you said. Now, you need actual stuff, too. The terrain in the exhibit is too steep. Yep. Um, rocks, fresh water, dirt, sand, etc. All right, wait, 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 what was that? The terrain in the exhibit is too steep. Yes, 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 I already saw that. So, we are going to have to uh, pretty much probably just flatten this whole thing. Um, yep, that's probably just what we're going to have to do. Is that no, too, still too steep? Oh, that might be a problem, actually. Because now there's no way out. Nope. Scientists can still get out just fine. Alright, how about now? Yep, terrain is fine. Okay, but hang on. I am going to fix this because it is going to bother me. See, look at that. That is not going to work. So, alright. How do I... So I want to select, okay, so first commit this so that I can undo anything if I make a mistake. Alright, so then let's... Yeah, I mean, that's not really what I want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's... There we go. Good as new. Perfect. Um, Alright, now we can get rid of this. Well, actually, we might still need this. Uh, because we need savanna and dirt. Yep. So let's commit that. Then let's... Oh, there's that. That's going to be a problem. That's going to bother me. There we go. Alright. that good? Nope, still not enough savanna grass, still too much sand. Which means we're going to have to seriously cut down on the sand. Because there is a l not a lot of sand, so if it's still red too much, then that means that they really don't like the sand. Which is fine, you know. I mean, some people just don't like sand. It's rough, it's irritating. You know, I mean, it, it gets everywhere. Oh, that's too much, too much, too much. Too much savanna grass, not enough dirt. So we are going to add some dirt. Kind of like right here, yeah. Just up at the beginning. Still too much savanna grass, not enough fresh water, alright. We are going to add some fresh water, just kind of over in this corner. That's too much fresh water. Or not enough savanna grass. Alright, so it says now just more rocks. They're fine with foliage. Um, we are going to put the rocks first. Medium savanna rock. Alright, we'll put the medium savanna rock. Or two. And then I'm going to get just some generic large rocks. Just because. And is that good for rocks? No. I mean, maybe. But we now need the foliage. So the grass tree... 
is their favorite. So that's the one which we will be using most of. Maybe this exhibit was unnecessarily large. Oh well. Um, and then, what do we want? Singularia tree. I mean, ostensibly stuff from the Cretaceous North America, but I don't think that's going to be possible. So, yes. I mean, see, they don't they don't mind that. So, so they can have other types of trees as well. And then I'm going to put one big one, just like in the middle. Um, the exhibit is well suited, but they still only have a suitability of 80, which is not good. So we're going to add some more of these. Ah! See, now they're destroying their trees? Come on, guys. Okay, that's too much. They don't like the rubble. See, if you don't like the rubble, you shouldn't create rubble. <sighs> and then I'm going to delete two grass trees and replace those because I like them more spread out. Alright, the exhibit is well suited. It's at 86. Now, if we can avoid destroying any more trees... Ugh. Oh well. But look at them. They are so cute. Kind of. You can't really see, but there they are. Look at them. Little baby triceratops. Oh, it's getting up. And I think I got a male and a female, right? A male? Female. Excellent. So possibly when they grow up, they will breed. Oh, wow, that was expensive. Oh, my goodness. See, look at that. Oh. Uh. <sighs> Fortunately, it doesn't really impact their suitability much, but it is annoying. Alright. This is going to be an issue. If we just put all the grass trees in the corner then they can't dis well, I mean, they, they can, but they're less likely to. Alternatively, I could create, like, some sort of a forest area separated by rocks, so that they don't, you know, they, they won't pass the rocks, because... Or water, even. You know, I could create, like, a little island in, a, in the river, and they won't pass the water, so then the trees on the island... Dinosaurs are so high maintenance. But it is what it is. Alright, well, we need to add another marine animal now. Although, I suppose I did say I wanted to do something about this. Oh, what is over here? Do I not have a maintenance worker? No, I do. And you are going to trash can. The question is, how did you allow two trash cans to become filled? Right. Oh, it's looking through the window at all the guests. Oh, you know what we need is... Um, well, hang on. So actually, I'm going to design this just a little bit. I want some sand path here, some sand path here, and some sand path here. And then I am going to... Go to structures, dinosaur digs, wooden, marble. Isn't there a reinforced? Yeah, reinforced observation area. Like this. Uh, then I'm going to go to all. I'm going to get some exhibit signs. And then I'm going to put some large benches. Also, this will help it feel less like a, um, like a long walk through the desert and more like a, a path just through the zoo. Uh, and then they can rest here. Well, we need our water fountains. 
This is a jumping fountain, not a drinking fountain. Yeah, we don't have water fountains. I mean, we have, like, like fountains fountains. But I mean, like, like drinking fountains. We don't have those. No, the closest thing we have are drink machines. Which, I mean, I suppose we could, <clears throat> we could put a drink machine. But... That's not really what I want. I mean, I want people to be able to get water for free in case they're overheating in the hot desert air. But yeah, we'll we'll, we'll leave that off. For now. What are my dinosaurs? In a poop vacuum. All right. Well, hopefully they'll grow up soon, eventually. Um, as for our next aquatic or marine exhibit, all right, let's go marine mania. So I'm thinking the bowhead whale is five thousand yeah, dollars. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Also, keeping whales in captivity mm, kind of frowned upon, just a little bit. But this would be like a really good, you know, we could pull this path up here. It's not that far, you know, we could we could develop this area, put, you know, maybe one big marine exhibit here and then some some exhibits on the side. So I'm thinking manta ray, hmm? Hammerhead shark, green barracuda, common sawfish. I wonder how many of these animals can live together. Like can I put the barracuda and the sawfish together? What about the Atlantic Swordfish? Green Moray Eel. I kind of like the idea of keeping to, like, Pacific... You know, this Elephant Seal might actually be nice. I think that's what we're going to do. The Elephant Seal, um, which is, you know, it can enjoy a hybrid exhibit. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so elephant seal, aquatic, beach grass, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is at an angle. That's... Well, say lobby. So, yeah, I am actually going to zoom in. Um, and then I... No, no, no. Okay, so I want it to start, like, over here. And then this edge is going to connect to the exhibit. Uh, this is going to be deleted. And then this edge, I guess, is going to... I mean, there's no need to do a fancy shape. Like that. You know, just, just a rectangle should be good. Although I could. No, I think, yeah, we'll just, just leave this like this. This is going to be elephant seal tank. Okay. Um, we are going to move this over here. And then, as for fencing, we are going to... Concrete and chain exhibit fence. Yeah, that, that's what we want. Um, can, wait, can guests... Yes, guests can see into this. Although, I think I'm just going to go for the chain link fence right here. This is where guests are going to be viewing the exhibit. So that is five... Five, five, right? One, two, three, four, five, yep. And then we're going to swap over to this fence, like that. And that should be good. And that is going to be Elephant Seal Exhibit. Okay. Um, we're going to have to adjust the base down one so that the Elephant Seal can cross over. Uh, and then, we are going to m lower this. 
Let's see. Where are my oh, skills? Nope. Where'd it go? Oh, we're in Zoo Tycoon still. I can see it. Oh, all of a sudden this exhibit looks very small. <laughs> Well, it doesn't say it's too small. But we need graystone and snow and salt water. Also, we're going to need some more animals. So it's possible that then once we add more animals, the exhibit will be too small. Let's let's give a male. <coughs> doesn't say the exhibit is too small. So I guess we'll uh, we'll go with that. Um, gray stone. Let's make this just a little bit bigger. And then we're going to want to add some snow. They make such a funny noise, like they're blowing bubbles. Too much gray stone, not enough salt water. Is that good? Yep. Foliage, rocks, and toy. Ooh, toy. Okay, so we need to um research and conservation research um okay aquatic animal care yes marine specialist training sure orca tricks great white shark tricks dolphin tricks we don't need any tricks conservation foliage houses no animals i don't think so uh okay zoo tycoon shelters staff care enrichment um, houses, foliage, and then dinosaurs, foliage, houses, uh, actually, we don't need any dinosaur research. T-Rex care, specifically designed for the Tyrannosaurus Rex. That's cool, but, okay. So then, let's go back to all, and then let's fund just a little bit. Actually, all we need is... Wait, do we already have a toy? That's what we should check first. Animal toys. Penguins, walruses, and elephant seals love the ice flow. All right. Or we could give them a raft, which is the same exact cost. Polar bears, chimpanzees, sunken log. Yeah. Let's go for the ice flow. In the desert. Why not? No, that's just a bit unrealistic. Let's give them the raft. See, they're very happy about the raft. Um, and then they're gonna like some beach grass. Nope. Beach grass. Nope, that's an agave cactus. Is this the beach grass? Yes, it is. We can put some beach grass in the snow. No big deal. Nope, too much. Exhibit would be better with more rocks. Let's go with the large ocean floor rock. Nope. How about now? The exhibit is well suited at a suitability rating of 92. Alright, so now we need our specialist. Let's assign you all the way on the other side of the zoo. See, I didn't really actually plan this out very well. Oh, I guess it's not a marine animal. Well then, even worse planned out from even farther across the zoo, the elephant seal exhibit. So much so that in fact it might just be better to get a whole new uh, zookeeper. But we're not going to do that, so... So then, does this not count as a zoo, as a marine animal? It counts as a zoo animal? Oh no, it is a marine animal. We just need a zoo rating of 85, and we only have a rating of 82. So then I guess we will have to add more animals. Alright, so then I guess I spoke too soon when I was discussing the quick and easy nature of this particular scenario. 
Um, but, yeah, so I'm going to want to connect this, and I'll figure out how to do that in a second. First, I am going to want... Oh, and I also wanted... Alright, um... Then let us lower this. Okay, so what we can do is making sure... Although... Hang on. I need to think about how to do this, because if I lower this... Oh no, it's lowering successfully. It's lowering what I want to lower. Right, but then that's lowering that. So then without committing... So now this should get less expensive. Yes, that is what I want. Um, and in fact... Elephant Seal 1 has given birth already? Wow. Let's actually just increase the size of this tool, and then, like that, and then we're going to go on the other side, shrink it down, and use this tool. Perfect. Alright. Um, and then, yeah, that's fine the way it is. Elephant Seal 3 would like to have some fun, would like a toy, we have a toy, it's a rat. Northern Elephant Seal, Merunga Angustirospris. Second largest seal in the world. See, now the baby elephant seal? The baby elephant seal is pretty cute. I mean, it's kind of stuck in the water now, you can't really see. But, I mean, it's not stuck in the water. But it's underwater. Alright, now we just need to add some path. Uh, see, there's our zookeeper. Keeping food. Very crucial. Thing for fish, I guess. Ah, sitting on the raft. Very cool, very nice. Yep, that'll be good. Um, should we actually make this? Yes, we can make that stairs. Uh, and then we are going to want Aquatic Animal Longevity is now available. Oh yeah, how much did I? Just 13 I mean, I guess we can we can afford $13 a month, although money is going down. Um, Alright, I'm just going to connect these. And then... Connect these, and then we will fix... I mean, not fix. We will uh, design the guest area for the elephant seal later. Now, This and then I'm thinking this. Well, yeah, that's that's as good as it's gonna get. You never notice how much you miss diagonal fencing until you don't have it. Ugh. Maybe we'll fix that. That does need to be fixed. But until then, uh, this is what we've got. Elephant seals, octopus, baboons, and triceratops. Perfectly ordinary surf and turf park. You know? But yeah, that's it for now. Adios.